During their confirmation hearings, our Supreme Court justices pledged to the Senate and to all Americans that no one is above the law. SCOTUS also deceived us about their thoughts and future rulings about abortion and Roe v. Wade, but their less than honest confirmation statements regarding abortion, as well as some of their immoral and illegal behavior, has been covered in our other videos. Go check it out. So, today's show will unveil their dishonesty about presidential immunity and no man being above the law, including the President of the United States of America. These Supremes made statements publicly and on the record that what they believe is that no person is above the law. When questioned, Scotus Alito convincingly said, I don't think the president is above the law. No person in this country, no matter how high, is above the law. Scotus Roberts confirms his lawly ideology. I believe that no one is above the law, and that includes the president. Scotus Barrett swore to God and the nation. No man is above the law. Scotus Kavanaugh affirmed his beliefs. A president is not above the law. Scotus Gorsuch confidently reasserts his supposed thoughts on the matter. And nobody is above the law. And that includes the president of the United States. The Supremes have extremely strong ties to the uber right wing, religious, big business, elitist supporting, federalist society. Members and business entities of these groups often overlap with other groups like the Heritage Foundation, Project 2025 Authors, and many other non-American, dystopian, and authoritarian groups, many of which strive to rob people of their rights under the banner of religion, working toward making our country a theocracy any way they can. In the end, the Supremes are proven liars. They are just black-robed rubes installed by the same mega-rich, mega-corporations, and religious factions that desire total power and authority. Not to God, but to them. These denominations, along with the elite and mega-corporations, unite and continue to destroy the common good. They and other groups, like the Heritage Foundation, support people like Trump, and place their own vetted representatives in Trump's cabinet and many other key governmental positions. Their appointments, just like Trump appointed Supremes, and many of his appointed federal judges, are hand-picked by the elites and the people and organizations they control. Trump's supreme picks are on the same team, having the same coach, the same master. And that team is the Federalist Society. So, based on their recent presidential immunity decision and granting Trump other favorable decisions, these supremes lied at their confirmation hearings regarding that no man is above the law as did the money-grubbing, gift-grabbing, $4 million man, Scotus Clarence Thomas regarding abortion, affirmative action, and his own sexual misconduct. But that's another show. To wrap it up, in addition to having a supreme knowledge of the law, shouldn't a Supreme Court justice have supreme honesty, supreme integrity, and supreme character? If you voted for Trump, or anybody associated with these groups, you should. Never. Do it. Again. Alexandria is correct in her move to impeach Alito and Thomas for taking money and gifts. Ocasio-Cortez charges them with failure to disclose and recuse among other things. President Biden is calling to reform the court as well, requiring an 18-year term limit and mandatory ethics code. This ain't enough. All Supreme Court justices that lied to the people during confirmation or took bribes or didn't recuse when necessary, or didn't report gifts and pay all their taxes, or have demonstrated immoral and or illegal behavior, even in their past, should immediately be terminated without pension or further compensation. In the real world, we would be fired for such unethical, criminal, immoral and disloyal actions. Why is it not so for those in elite positions? Do we think they are better than us? Have they proven to be supreme arbiters of the truth, of fairness, of the law? We say no. They have proven the opposite. Oh, before I forget, an 18-year term limit is not enough. It should be two, or four, or maybe eight. No more. For links, and to listen to our free podcast, go to screwed.buzzsprout.com. Get all of our links there at screwed.buzzsprout.com spelled with two O's. Anyway, 
I gotta run. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.